Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, a new CX update, your monthly inspiration in the world of customer experience. Welcome in this new video, everyone. One of the things that customers really hate is being sent from here to there to figure out who the right person to talk to is. So it happens to us all the time. You call someone and then you say, look, I have this problem. And they say, oh, 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 sorry, Mr. Customer. I'm not the right person to talk to. I will connect you to one of my colleagues, one of my coworkers, and then nothing happens and you have to search all over again. That is something customers absolutely hate. Now, let me explain you how you can change that in your organization. It's very simple. Everyone is the right person to talk to. You never send a customer to someone else. You just say, all right, I'm writing down your problem. Um, I'm writing down your name, your phone number, your email, and I'm gonna figure out for you how we're gonna solve this. And then you, as an employee of that company, you do the internal search to figure out who the right person to talk to is. You do the search, you try to solve that problem, but you stay that contact person for the, for the customer. And that is just a completely different experience for, for those customers. It's one of the rules in Disney that they say, everyone is the right person to talk to. It doesn't matter what your role is. If a customer comes to you with a question, just make sure that you can help out that customer. Um, you know the company better than the customer does. So you are the best placed person in that situation to help someone out. So if you install this rule in your organization that everyone is the right person to talk to, you're gonna see a boost of customer happiness straight away you don't need extra procedures for that you just install it it's just a social agreement with your co-workers that you will figure things out and it will have a tremendous impact on your customer happiness we all know what to do if there is a situation with a customer if something was completely messed up if you made a huge mistake you know what to do. You need to solve that problem or 70% of the customers will leave your company. If you have a big drop in customer happiness and you don't solve it, people just go away. We all know this. Um, and most companies are organized in, in solving this, but there's this one thing that we sometimes forget. It's not just about helping out that customer. It's not just about solving that issue. There's another important thing you need to add to that equation. And that's supporting the employee who is responsible for fixing that or supporting the employee who's responsible for the mistake. You know, when something goes wrong, they, they, will, they will help the customer, but they will still feel bad about it because maybe they made a mistake, maybe they messed up, maybe they made, made the customer feel bad. And even though they solved it, it still hurts a little bit inside. So as a leader of a team, if you, if you see that, if you experience that someone made a mistake and they helped out that customer, don't just congratulate them about the fact that they helped that customer, but also support them. Tell them that it's okay. Uh, tell them, put it in the spotlight that they fixed it. Make them feel good. So there, when something goes wrong with a customer, there are actually two things that you need to take care of. Obviously, you help out that customer. But the second thing that is crucial is to make sure that you make your employee, your coworker, feel good again in a supportive way. That will make a difference the next time a mistake like that happens. A lot of companies come to me with, with this crucial question. They're like, Stephen, we have all these ideas about customer experience, but we, we don't succeed in executing upon them. We have these ideas, but they get stuck somewhere in the organization. They're roadblocks. And I'm so frustrated about that, that we cannot do the things we want to do. What is the solution? Well, th there's this one thing you could do. Um, and I've seen this happening at Neuhaus, uh, the, the Belgian premium chocolate brand. Um, they installed, six years ago, they installed a customer council. It's an internal council. Um, it had, it, it, it's been seated by, by all the big players within the organization. So everyone who's crucial in the organization is part of that customer council. It's chaired by the CEO. And every six weeks they come together and they have three customer projects on their calendar. And every six weeks, they look at the progress of those projects. The goal is that by the next meeting, one of the projects is successfully implemented. But if there's a roadblock, they discuss it with each other and they see what they can do to remove that roadblock. And if no one can make up their mind or if people are you know, arguing too much, then the CEO steps in and she will say, look, this is, this is what we're going to do here. This is the decision. Decision now. Make it, make it happen. 
And the fact that you have a council like this every six weeks has a number of advantages. First of all, it allows you to install some sort of a social pressure that you need to move forward with those projects. You know, every, every six weeks you need to deliver. Second advantage is that everyone in the company knows that those projects are very, very important. And the third thing is if something gets blocked, if there's a roadblock, you have a platform to discuss it with each other and you make up your mind, you make a decision during that council so that by the next meeting, there are no more excuses to have that project implemented. At, at Neuhaus, they've been doing this for, for years and years. So you can imagine how many projects that they that they executed, how many roadblocks they removed because of this. So at a certain point, if you really want to make progress with your customer experience, you need some sort of a platform internally where you can take decisions. You don't have to come up with ideas. That's not the goal. The goal is execution and removing roadblocks to make sure that you can improve your customer experience and that you can roll out all the plans that you have. At that point, a platform like this is extremely, extremely valuable. All right, guys, this was my monthly CX update. I hope these were some valuable tips and insights for you. If, if you like my videos, please like them. Um, tell me what you think about them in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Share them on your social platforms. That would mean the world to me. Thanks for watching again, and I hope to see you again next month in a new update about customer experience. Thanks for watching.